Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avadon. Last episode, we haven't found the find the area where Cahill is hiding. In a series of mines that are honestly just a complete and utter maze. I have no idea who thought this was a good idea to mine out like this, but seriously, who mined this place? Anyway, we've tracked him down to his lair and he must be hidden down this ladder. This must be the end of it. There's still passages back in the mine that we haven't explored, but I don't even know. So, let's go see if we can deal with him. Ah, good. He's got war. He's got protectors, guardian warriors, and a couple mages. It looks like wonderful. And we did a horrible job hitting anyone here. Well, that killed those two. Now we just need to deal with these two mages. Actually, hit things, please. Thank you. Alright, kill this dark cultist, and we're good. Alright. The sound of a horn breaks the stillness of the mine. The sound echoes through the tunnels, rapidly proceeding from loud to deafening. The vibrations knock rocks from the ceiling and make the ground vibrate under your feet. Your training instantly kicks in. You clap your hands over your ears and concentrate on remaining standing. When trapped by offensive magic like this, the most important thing is simply to stay alert and conscious. Then the sound ceases, leaving you feeling dizzy and confused. And then you hear another, less welcome noise. The shouting of the bandits coming to make one attempt to drive you from their hideout. And we're all ensnared. Oh, there they are. They've got us stunned. For the moment. Won't last forever, though. It'll last five more turns, actually. <laughs> Don't let the terrified one get away. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got more coming in. And they're coming from behind us, too. Alright, bring out the bow. Oh, good. You're no longer ensnared. You shoot from behind. You shoot at us behind. Where did they come from? Eh, no matter. Finish off that one. How much longer is... Okay, I think the ensnareds are all going to go away by now. Interesting attack, though. Terra the Hornbearer. She's a tough one. Do not let her get away. She will die. Or he. I don't know what type of name Terra is. Big hits. Big hits. Where's that, wor warrior? Oh dear, a charm. That's not good at all. Do finish her off quickly, please. Charm is only going to last two turns. Still, that's longer than I would very much like. Okay, there we go. And uh, level up for Zeppelin. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get you more dexterity soon, but... Okay, what was I going to work on again? Attacker receiving a random curse. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, why can't you? Oh. Oh, we can choose another specialization! Hmm. Well, he doesn't really have anything in vitality, so there's not really much need for that, but... Battle or power? Battle or power? They can do more damage. Or these give more protection. Hmm. Power, I'd say. Huh. That actually gave a 
changed it to a bow. Interesting. All right. One point in Path of the Berserker brings that up nicely. And... I've already got Sharpshooter Spray. We can get Berserker Slash. Ah, uh, we're gonna need to improve those more, and then we'll improve Berserker Slash. It's gonna take a while, but it's fine. Okay! Nice! We're going to get another specialization for all our for all our companions soon. Rogue archers. Heh. <laughs> they didn't attack us. We managed to get out of range quickly enough. Nice try though. Okay, finish them off. Nice. All right. You must be in there. I see a whole bunch of people. Quite a few. Cahill's archer, Cahill's... Okay. Triumphant roar, let's get in there. At last you corner Cahill in this hall in the, in the lowest level of the mine. It is an old chamber, centuries old. A small crumbling throne room with a rough granite chair and a rotting carpet. The miners probably uncovered it when they were burrowing into the earth. Cahill is not in the throne. He is standing by the east wall, surrounded by his surviving archers. He is holding a sword in his surviving hand. The twisted stump that is, a, that is his left arm holds a scroll against his chest. When you enter his hall, the bandits look terrified, and understandably so. Sevlin is ready to charge into their midst. However, Cahill is not re ready to give up hope. So, you found us. I knew the moment I recognized you that you would not be turned away easily. Before you do anything rash, however, there is something you must know. Speak quickly, and then prepare to die. You're wise to wait. You won't be fighting me today. You can't. He nods. One of his archers takes a scroll from you and throws it to you. It lands at your feet. What sort of trick is this? No trick, no spell. Only a message. From your master. Get the scroll. You pick up the scroll and unroll it. Sivlin watches you intently. At the top of the scroll is a seal of Avedon. At the bottom of the mar at the bottom is the mark of Redbeard. Jason, read it, please. Cahill, you are a criminal, the murderer of my hands. However, the knowledge you have given is of value. The information about the Jareth Deeps and the presence of the Talon was worthwhile. Had you joined them, you would be dead now. For Avedon to survive, we must aid those who aid us. I pardon you for your crimes, as long as you avoid my servants. Hide, creature. Cross me again, and you will be brought before me. Redbeard. Look at Sevelyn. The young blade master tre trembles. His sword falls from his hand. He looks at Redbeard's seal, pardoning Cahill. It... It is real. That pardon. It happened. Yes, I am free. You can't kill me. I have Avedon's word that I will be allowed to live, in return for my service as their spy. Why didn't you show this to me outside? Because I thought you would ignore it, maybe even tear it up. Though I need it to survive, I thought I might evade you. That didn't work. You killed several hands. I did, but they were young and dumb and clumsy. I hate to say it, but it is true. We would never have been able to defeat competent servants of Avedon. They would have died eventually, one way or another. It is true. It doesn't matter. You must answer for it. I still have to decide what to do with you. Both Cahill and Sevelyn look at you with alarm. But you saw it yourself. It bears Redbeard's seal. Avedon gave me its word. You can't kill me without giving up your master's honor. We can't let him go. Redbeard is... He is wrong. Cahill murdered hands, several of them. Avedon's honor is useless if we won't protect our own. And if you let me go, I will pay you. A lavish reward. Not that I owe it to you, but I will give it to you anyway in return for our lives. Oh, God. <laughs> he killed several hands of Avedon. But then he did something for Avedon to make up for his crimes. If he if he is to be killed, it would only be for Sevelyn. And Sevelyn probably does not think that he should be allowed this. <sighs> to 
to do what's right or to do what is the law to respect your friends or to respect the ones in charge the moments in the dark those are the points which define you <sighs> Sevelyn, you say Cahill should be punished. Of course he should. Am I the only one who sees it? Am I the only one who is not mad? We are Avedon. We do what we want. We kill who we want. And we must look out for our own. Sevelyn, he does have Avedon's word. He shakes his head, barely w hearing you. I saw this... this worm cut down my... Please, Jason, don't do this. Don't free him. I could not... I could not forgive you! What I would do if I had the option... I would turn to Sevelyn and tell him... Sevelyn... I am a hand of Avedon, and I won't be crossing what they tell me to do. What I am going to do is walk through that door, and close it, and leave you to decide what should happen to Cahill. I will turn my blind eye to you. If you wish to kill him, kill him. If you decide to follow Avedon and let him go, let him go. It is not my decision. This is all you. And I would walk out the door and stand outside and wait for him to finish. And that is all I would do. That is what I am in the dark. I leave others to de- I- This is not my decision. This is not my problem. This is Sevelyn's. He is a companion, and I must help him, but I am put in a bind here by the laws of Avedon. So I take a loophole. I will not cross those laws. I will let the others cross those laws. That is not an option here. No, Cahill. For Sevelyn, you must die for what you have done. Sevelyn nods. Cahill looks horrified. But a pardon from Redbeard himself! <coughs> Worms you are! No better than wretches! Avedon is nothing but lies! It has no honor! It. He doesn't get to continue his tirade. Sevelyn has finally had enough. With one battle howl, he lets out months of bottled up rage and terror. And then he charges. Okay. Let us kill them. Alright, Firestorm can hit most of them, but not quite all. Does a lot of damage, though. I think you can battle frenzy. Yeah, you have that ability. Enemy stops me, but that's fine. I wanted to play sweep. And I think searing spray. Fine. There. That should get most of them. That works. Ooh, and you can attack again! I did not expect that. Okay. You attack that archer. There goes that one. Oh, you can attack again. How are you able to attack twice? Cahill, join me. We'll deal with Cahill. With... 
No, not Cahill. Sevelyn, join me. We will deal with Cahill. Nathalie, finish off that archer. Another attack. There goes the archer. Cahill staggers, wounded. He hisses. Yes, I killed the hands. I loved it. I would do it again. Curse Avedon! Your black fortress will burn soon! I didn't say all I learned! Then he takes a potion from his belt. Before you can stop him, he drinks it. I will take one of you with me! He roars. Wow! That's a lot of attacks. Okay, stunning bash, see if that does anything. Oh, it was a critical. And he's stunned. Okay, you stunning bash as well, I guess. I thought he was stunned. Somehow he was still able to attack. At last, Cahill lies dead before you. Sevelyn's long hunt has come to an end. He gives the body a vicious kick. Then he spits on it. Then he turns to you. Thank you, Jason. I could not have done this without you. I'm free at last. Ready to... to... And then he looks at Cahill's scroll of pardon, lying on the floor in a pool of blood. He remembers what he has learned. Confused, he turns and walks away. I'm sorry, Sevelyn. Rarely is the world as... fair, or make as much sense as it should. Blademaster's Bulwark. Plus one to strength, plus three to second wind, and plus one to path of the shield. That is amazing. And you are definitely going to be where. No. Sevelyn. You get the Blade Master's Bulwark. It should go to you. Right, Nathalie, you leveled up. Point in endurance. You get a another point in this. Hmm. You know what? I kind of want the battle specialization. Again, even more strength there. Alright. Magical mastery improved. Excellent. And we're going to need to put points in these. One there, one there, one there, one there. Two, and one. Gonna take a while to get corrupting cloud, but we'll get it. Still, that's nice. Okay, now what's in the back here? Probably the way out. Yep, this is the way out. Alright, silver necklace, gold bar, for battle, some alchemical equipment to sell. As you leave Cahill's chambers, you look over at Sevelyn. He seems stunned. He walks as if he's just received a punishing blow to the head, which in a sense he has pardoned. Pardoned. I saw my friends lying in pools of their own blood. Hands. Members of the Brotherhood. Hardened. But you were avenged. Yes. In spite of Avedon, not because of it. Not with the support we needed. Alone. Forsaken. Jason, thank you for your help. I will be ever grateful, but I have much to think about. And then he is silent. Evelyn, I understand completely. This would... It would cause anyone to have a crisis of faith, I suppose. What happened. Now... Nathalie puts her hand on Sevelyn's shoulder. I am sorry. Cahill was our rightful prey, but Redbeard did what he must. I'm sure he has learned of more than glorious targets for us to hunt. Sevelyn smiles. I know you mean those words to be kind, but not all of us are as excited by the hunt as you. There are other principles in play here. Justice, for one. I have much to ponder. I have made an oath to Avedon. I will continue to follow it. For now. Then they are silent. There is little else to say. We'll go back to Avedon now. We have some things that I need to turn in. 
I'll cut it while I go back. I think we have just enough time to do that. <sighs> so, um, I'm so sorry about this. This this became a lot. <sighs> and I can't say anything about Avedon being corrupt. Yes, they murdered Hans. But then, according to what was said there, he then proceeded to atone for what he did by providing information. Something very important. Something that is important for Avedon. That is something that can't really be done and gotten away with. You know what I mean. And even if it wasn't atoning and just trying to survive... We have level ups. Shima, you have a level up. Mm. You need more endurance. That works. Ah, good. You have something here. Mm. Uh, you know what? I feel like... Power specialization might be better here. Yeah. Excellent. That gives an extra chance to hit with all melee attacks. Oh, you still have more to, more to put in. That gains Razor Spray. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. We'll slowly make our way up to gaining Steel Tornado. Okay. And Janelle. One point there, and you get one point here. Ugh, nice as it is, I'm gonna add a point in Battle Specialization. Okay. Now, do we have enough to make it? One, two, three. Ah, oh, we don't have enough to get up. Urgh. We don't have enough to get called Drake. Damn it! I thought I was hoping we would, but I was wrong. Fa! Well, summon pets appear with haste. I suppose that'll have to do for now. Yeah, we need one level, two levels, three levels, four levels, five levels. Oh, we'd be so close! We'd need six levels in order to get Call Drake. Mmm! Well, crap. Oh well. Oh, we do have an ability to readjust things. Okay, that is going to you. You are definitely using this Cap of the Deep Woods. It's better than the uh, Shadow Crest. Which... Is that at all good for you? No. I think we can sell the Shadow Crest. Actually, chance to evade attacks. Yeah, you know what? The Shadow Crest is actually better than the Etched Leather Cap. Which has a higher chance to evade attacks, but still. Alright. Let me just go deposit these rune stones. And then I'll sell the various things that we're going to be keeping. Give Sevelin his stuff. And so on. Oh, the Titan Steel Boots. Um. I think we're just going to sell them. Okay. I'll grab this stuff in a bit. I just want to make room so that we can carry everything. Alright. Uh, let's see. Some things I want to sell. Sell all in the bag. That's not being sold. That is. Oh, damn it! I have more to sell! Yes, I want to sell that, I want to sell that, I want to sell those, I want to sell those, I want to sell those, I want to sell those. Okay. And the Drake skins we can drop back in our room. Okay. Let me see here. Round about this way. Drop off the Drake skin, and give me a sec. 
Alright, I grabbed a couple things for Sevelin that I'm going to put on his armor. Two of them were, again, suggested by, uh, one of the people reading. I forget the name already. And the other two, I'm just trying to use them to try and give them a bit more improvement. So, let's see here. We got Titan Steel Shield is getting an Emerald Rune Plus 4% physical damage resistance. Flame Tooth Blade, getting the Gold Rooms. Plus 4% to all damage. Blade Master's Bulwark is getting a glowing rune stone. Plus 1 to endurance. And Lodestone Chain Boots, cheap as it is, getting a battle rune stone. For a bit of protection from the ma from magical things. Alright. One more thing I need to look at I need to do. Well, I should actually go speak with Sevel and see if he has anything to say here. I don't know if he does, but... Sevelin is sitting in his quarters, working on maintaining his weapons. There are a variety of blades on the desk in front of him. Okay. He looks up at you. What do you wish of me, Jason? As you look into his eyes, you can see that they have become haunted. The confrontation with the bandits has troubled him greatly. Are you more content now that the bandits have been slain? What can I say to that? Vengeance is ours. This is good. What I saw of Avedon, its cravenness, Redbeard's lack of action, it... Excuse me, Jason, I am rambling. I am content, though I have much to think on. As perhaps to you. One more thing to do. We do speak with her whenever we help one of our companions. This hand, Hand Callan. Can we discuss my companions? Sevelin left to hunt the bandits who attacked his patrol. This is in his rights as a Hand of Abaddon. They attacked our warriors. Retribution is right and just. Is there anything else we should know about it? We managed to track down Cahill. The matter is settled. You tell her what happened. I hope that you have made peace with what you learned. We would be unhappy if any of our Hands found reason to resent us. Thank you for this report. I did not lie. We did track him down and the matter was settled. Thus ends the... Everything with Sevelin. It did not go in any way how I may have expected. But it went. Such is the way it is. Next episode, we'll get back on with our main quest and head to go speak with the dragon. That'll be in the next episode, so until then, I am Trusic44, that is Jason, Sevelin, and Nathalie. This has been an Avedon Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.